Hey there, it's John from Tiny. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade to Tiny MCE 6. But before we get into it, let's talk about a few reasons why you wanna upgrade. First of all, Tiny MCE 5 reaches end of support on April 20th, 2023. What that means is beyond this date, we're no longer gonna be releasing any more updates to Tiny MCE 5. That means no more new features and also no more bug fixes or security updates. So if you wanna stay current, offer your users the newest features and stay up to date with security patches and bug fixes, now's the time to upgrade to TinyMCE 6. Now there are four simple steps to upgrading TinyMCE in your app. You'll wanna do this in a testing or staging environment to make sure everything works well before deploying to your users. So the first step is to update the editor, then check the dev console for messages, check for theme, plugin, and API changes, test it, and then deploy it to your live environment. This upgrade process will work if you're coming from TinyMCE 4 or TinyMCE 5. So before we get started, let's find out what version of TinyMCE we're on. So I'm gonna load up TinyMCE wherever it's located in my app. I'm gonna to go to developer tools and I'm gonna type in tinymce.major version. And that's gonna tell me what version I'm on. So I'm on version five. Now at this point, I'll pause and introduce you to a few resources that can help you troubleshoot upgrading if you run into any errors. If you go to tiny.cloud and you click on docs, and then migrating to TinyMCE, it's gonna bring you to this page with some upgrade guides. So there's two types of resources under upgrades. There's some blog articles that cover most of the issues you'll run into when upgrading, and they're a great start. And then there's also the migration guides, which are full reference guides that cover all the specific things that have changed. So for now, we're gonna use the migration guide to help us troubleshoot errors that the developer console will be throwing. I've got my HTML on the right here, and TinyMC on the left. I've intentionally inserted a few things to trip up the upgrade process so we can look at how to troubleshoot them. We have our selector option, we've specified our plugins, our toolbar, and we're using the table of contents plugin and we've specified a depth of the table of contents. So if you're not familiar with TinyMC, it's a series of these options that are specified within the init function. And sometimes the options apply to the entire editor, for example, the toolbar and what plugins are loaded and other options are specific to plugins. And you'll see why that's important when this plugin is upgraded. Now, the next step is to update TinyMCE. I'm loading TinyMCE from the cloud, so all I have to do is change the version number to six. But if you're self-hosting TinyMCE, you'll wanna download the latest version from NPM, our website, or GitHub. Okay, so I've updated it to six, loading it from the cloud, and now I'm just gonna reload the page and look for any errors. So the first thing that we're seeing here is a fail to load plugin error. One of the things that we changed with TinyMCE 6 is we no longer allow you to enter a space separated list of plugins within an array. So to fix this, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is remove the two square brackets and it'll start loading the plugins all right. So I'm gonna hit save and reload that again. Okay, so we've made some progress here but we're still seeing some errors around TOC, HR, paste. So let's take a look at those next. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for those plugin names within the migration guide to see if it gives me any hints as to what I have to do. So I'm gonna search for paste in the migration guide. Paste. Okay, great. So it says four plugins were removed because their functionality is a core part of TinyMC 6. HR, paste, non-editable, and print. So I think I can see paste and HR in here. So what we'll do, since they're now part of the core, is we don't have to specify them in the config when we load the plugins. So I'm gonna remove paste, and I'm gonna remove HR. Save, and then reload and check for more errors. Okay, so the next error I'm getting here is failed to load TOC plugins. TOC, that's the table of contents plugin from TinyMC5. So let's look for that next. I'm gonna search for TOC. And it says, as noted in the release notes, the TOC plugin is no longer part of the free editor. It's now a premium plugin. Okay, so what I either need to do if I'm on a free version of TinyMCE, I need to remove the plugin, its options, and remove it from the toolbar. Or if I'm on a premium TinyMCE plan, I just need to update the plugin name and change some of the option names. So I'm on a TinyMCE plan, so all I'm going to do is follow these instructions to rename it. So I have TOC here in my plugins options. So I'm gonna rename that to table of contents. I have TOC in my toolbar. I'm gonna to rename that to table of contents. And then 
I'm using an option from the table of contents plugin in TinyMC5, TOC depth, which specifies how many headings deep the table of contents will go. And I wanna maintain that functionality when I upgrade to six. So I'm just gonna look for that as well. Here we go, TOC depth becomes table of contents underscore depth. So I'll update that too. I'll hit save and reload my page. Okay, good. So it looks like that error is gone now and I can confirm I have my table of contents button back here as well. Now at this point, you'll look if you have any other options that you've specified in your config. And it's great to just copy them and you can go back in here and search for them to make sure that you're not using something that's been deprecated or changed with TinyMC 6. There are a few other changes that you wanna check out if you're leveraging some of the more advanced APIs. For example, TinyMC 6 now uses promises instead of callbacks. There's changes to the forced root block option and a few others. So if you're using more advanced TinyMCE customizations or API functionality, definitely check out the migration guide. Now, lastly, if your app was relying on the TinyMCE 5 skin, and then all of a sudden you're updating to TinyMCE 6, and you don't wanna use the new skin that we've come up with, you can always specify the old TinyMCE 5 skin. So all I have to do here is type in skin TinyMCE-5 and that'll bring us back to the older skin. Now, like I said before, it's the same process if you're upgrading from TinyMC 4 to 6 or TinyMC 5 to 6. You'll just wanna check both migration guides, the 4 to 5 migration guide and the 5 to 6 migration guide to make sure that you're covering all the changes needed to move across both versions. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you're excited to try some of the new features in TinyMC 6 and you can continue to benefit from new features ongoing bug fixes, and security updates. And of course, we encourage you to check out tiny.cloud to see what new premium features we've introduced as well. If you haven't looked at TinyMCE in a few years, we're really excited for you to see what we've been working on. Now, if you run into any issues with your upgrade, you can always head over to Stack Overflow for community support. Or if you'd like to leverage our US-based professional support team, you can sign up for any one of our plans and we'll help you out with the upgrade. Good luck.